Flash. Go. Ooh, voice crack. Episode 36 of Corduroy Couch. We're back here with the three amigos. Dominic Legos, Daddy Boy, and Jut and Buster. We're just having a good old day. Glad Bust. to be back in the studio. Yeah, Buster's been running around trying to bite my dick. Yeah, well, if you want to fuck with him, I already told you he's going to growl, he's going to bite, and I trained him for that. So He keep... tries to bite everyone's wiener. Mm-hmm. It's so hot. Well, it's why like do you think? A, it's like a, a homoerotic thing. For yeah, him. yeah, he's a homo. He's a fucking. <laughs> he's a good homo. He's one of the good ones. All right, that's why I keep him around. Oh, okay, I didn't know that was your relationship. Yeah, he's he doesn't touch me. He knows I'm his daddy, and that's gay, and incest. <laughs> so he knows he knows not to touch my ass. But when he goes in your room late night, I'll let him in there late night, and sometimes he'll just get to busting down on you. <clears throat> the other night I walked in and. Uh, it was like 11 or so and like your guys' doors door was like cracked and like he came out really i was like buster go and then like i just like your door was wide open at this point so i just like put him back in there and close your door and kiss mm. you on the forehead good night he won't do it again okay only lord knows what happens when he comes in my room late night <laughs> i already seen you grinding on him I could pop in a fucking f- video right here. What the hell? Whoa, yeah, he's gonna bite your damn ass. Whoa. Okay, that wasn't real. Yeah, it was. I thought that was a joke. I didn't know you were gonna bring that up in this video. Yeah, well, it's bullshit, and you've been hard all day for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Can we ex- get, can we confront that? Ever since Dom got home at nine in the morning, he works early ass mornings. Ever since he got home, he's been harder than a damn rock. A damn could cut through a rock, honestly. That's how hard Bro, it's been. Every time I sit down, you guys are just like, oh, look at his dick. Yeah. Look at his dick. Why is look like, at it right now. It's lit, like, I'm not even going to uh, bring light to this. Okay, well, if you're so confident, let me pinch, pinch that and see if there's any meat there. That? Yeah. Okay, pinch it. <laughs> oh, see? That was very crazy. <laughs> Bro, because it's not anything. Every time you guys say something, it's yeah, not that. Crazy. You win, and I wish it was meat, honestly, but I failed. You win. I wish you could see the meat. I wish I could too. I, you're my only friends. You're my only friend that I haven't seen their cock. I've seen Louis. I've seen Jabars. I've seen Reese's. Bro. And I don't know why you keep it under like cover like it's like a fucking CIA agent. I keep it. It's it's uh, redacted information. Is that the right I term? I think it's retracted. No, your, your dick <laughs> like is military just, your government, dick is like it's redacted files. Yeah, like, like it, where it's blacked out, it's classified. So it's a lizard or yeah. an alien. It's in the same class as that. Mm. What Alex? It's in the same class as Area Fifty One. It's in it. my my dick is my my dick is in <laughs> Area Fifty One right now, locked down. Who has seen it? Because there's not a lot of people that. So it's like you and you're probably like your parents. Yeah, when I was like. Well, yeah, twenty. Obviously. When he I was, was like twenty, <laughs> I don't know when the last time was. It was it was early on. Yeah, of course. And then I shut it down quick. Of course you got to. But what is it? A little anteater? What's going on? Is there like an embarrassing fact about it that you would like to share? No, I've just always been really reserved about it. You are so. very reserved, and I love you. <laughs> yeah, and I, <laughs> I just look over at Reese. I just, just like. Well, yeah, you could say it, but you don't have to. But. You could say, but you will have to one day, but you're going to at my wedding, and I know that, so. <laughs> what else do we have to talk about? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, tell me about, your, tell me about your job. Your job's been going well. You're a fucking professional hole cutter. What's going on? I'm just pretty much a professional uh, greenskeeper, professional, yeah, hole cutter, professional, just in all, every sense of the word. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and I cut holes, and I actually had some videos that I wanted to show. No, next time. 14th green, so I'm going to go in with the flow of how I've been setting it up. You can just put it wherever you want. Spot in the green, so, so that's depending weird. on the flag color. Old. Okay, yeah, you're going so to So like that, what he just said? You right want to stay away from ball and, uh, marks, stay away from old holes that this you could see. Cut the cup today. Okay. Hammer it home. Looks Here you go. Like Hammer this. it. Hammer it, Chris. This is what you do? Yeah, twist that thing in. Uh-huh. Yeah. Dude, look at that. That's a beautiful hole. So that's going to be the new hole there. So we'll place it back. Take it to the old hole. And the hole that was there. And you fill it in. And pop. 
Oh wow. So once it's ejected, I got my plug. And right there. here, he just steps on it. I like to feel it out first. He just steps feet. on it, but me, I got a little tool. It's like a little needle. It. So this is what and you're you doing. Pinch it. Yeah, this is only this only out. takes like to do Press 18 holes of it. this takes about an hour and a half. Stick my hand in the hole. Ew. And so now he's back Stir at the, the new bottom. hole. So so is the thing is like, do you ever get a little horny when you're? Is this why you're r rock hard when you come home? Because I, if I'm looking at a whole, beautiful hole, like by the way, that was a fucking. Beaut. And then, yeah, you push that down, twist, pull it out, bang! You Damn, got a beautiful hole there. It's deep in there. How do you get that little plastic thing out when you're done? Uh, you just had. He just took it out by hand in this video, but you. Ha I have a little tool where you just pull it out. Oh, this is classy. Is uh, this is bougie right here? He's got spray paint, white spray paint. Is this and like a, a little stencil thing? Five star golf course. Yeah, probably. And so then you see how the hole is all white. Yeah. Like the hole's white around it. We don't even do that, but I might. I might need to introduce that to the to my course. Yeah, you might as well. But then, thank you. <laughs> I have. You're a good man. This is like the World Series of hole cutting right here. You Jesus see Christ! This it's like a profession. Yeah, look at this one. No, there's not a crowd behind <laughs> him. Well, this and you saw it on TikTok. That's how you know they're. Uh, it's just a tournament. Watching but... you. Are they cheering him the on? Car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. This is me at work right here. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> and everyone's going. And all the golfers are going. Let's go. I'm going. He has a different type of thing. Bro, but... I've never seen a golf crowd this rowdy. Let's go. And then he steps away. Look. Look. Bro, I feel like if you actually go and do this shit for like, bro, you should work for all the golf courses. Bro, that's what I'm saying. This, if I start here and I get wet enough, I might be at Pebble Beach one day. Oh yeah, you know it's in Monterey. It's kind of hard to commute there, but they they have a tour. You should go to Torrey Pines. They're the uh, the resort that I just applied for today. They have a golf course and it's, bro, it's yeah. on the beach. It's on the fucking beach. Yeah, like that's you could, sick. It's sick as fuck. You should apply there. It'd be cool. We but could. yeah, it'd be sick to be at like a crazy ass course like this where you're like doing some sh like shit like that. Yeah. Okay. Can I tell you something about Sean O'Malley? Sure. Because he's hot. Yes. <laughs> you agree? Yeah. Sean. It's on the thing. Yo. <laughs> what the hell? Sorry. I just get really horny when I. T but Sean O'Malley, bruh, did you guys see the clip of him and Triple C, bruh, when he was doing the interview? When, Wait. When Triple C, like, interjected into, into mm -mm. Sean O'Malley's interview? I only mm. saw uh, briefly. <laughs> Sean O'Malley, not the way you wanted the fight to finish, of course. It's a frustration situation. Um, he just looks like a crackhead. Yeah, it's the best type of fighters. And uh, I, was, I was finding my range. Dating a Mexican. Hey. As a kid with a Mexican lady. He's a good white. Look at He's about to cry in this, too. That's another thing. He's about to cry right now. Why? Just because he's shook up about it? Yeah, he's like, he's mad. That he didn't, uh, like, he he wanted the victory. He didn't want this shit. <laughs> oh, said, look, look at him. He's about to cry. <laughs> like, he's looking around, hella sad. <laughs> and then the, and then this freak comes. God, I didn't see right here. I want to match him if he's right here. I'd love a tuna. <laughs> what do you say, precious? Serious? It's just silent. Are you on the, you're, you're, you're good to go now, yeah, huh? I'm good to go. That's the part. Would you want to bend the knee? Pause it. That's the part that I'm. He said, "I would love a tune-up, precious." Who fucking says that, bro? He's like fucking. He. I feel like he's drunk right here. Probably. Oh yeah, because it's after the. Is it after no, the whole event or just his fight? I think it was just after his but fight. I'm sure he was drunk, but. That's what yeah. Sean O'Malley was saying. He was drunk and stumbling out in security. Watch how security treats him right here. Watch. At what time? Because I think you have to It looks like stuff. it's like out of the office. Like, yeah. Like, the show. And th that's <laughs> the best part. David, uh, he's like looking around like, what the <laughs> fuck is this guy? Do? Everybody's looking at him like he's insane. Look at security. <laughs> like, get out of here, bro. Uh -huh. And Sean O'Malley's all shook up. But it's like, they're like, the security's just treating him like he's some like crazy fucking fan. Yeah. He's a, he's a double champ. <laughs> he's the oldest. And then he says... He's like, bro, it's just the whole situation is so corny. He says, he says, get that little bird out of there. And like, the way he's bruh. standing, he said, he said, he said, hey, Sean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said, I'd love a tune up. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you say, precious? And there's another goofy ass clip I wish I fucking shared with you guys. But it, it, did you guys see it? The one of him and Aljamain? I don't <sighs> think so. Can we? Is it okay if I Google that? I don't care. This is maybe what got Henry Cejudo like set on him too, because I'm like Henry Cejudo was a double champ. Why are you calling out an unranked? I mean, I think he's ranked now. I think he's like number ten, or whatever. Uh-huh. But why are you calling out a tenth ranked fighter? I mean, he's popular, but like. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Just because he's popular and he knows. He's pointed that Henry Cejudo retired okay. because I, I just think like I think I'm reason he retired. I don't know that for sure. But he's that's talking what about Henry. Why, mm-hmm. why do you think that? I'm a bad bat. I feel like I'm a bad match for anyone in the division. I'm almost six feet tall, and I'm not super. Sk- I mean, I'm pretty skinny, but I- I'm long. Um, I was probably mm. one fifty something mm. in the cage. He's so long. I'm, I'm fast. Telling you, brother. I'm strong. Uh, I'm high level everywhere. That's not gay. Um, right? But I, I, I don't know if gay. I'm disappointed. That's me after a Rocket League match. <laughs> I think he'll be back. I think he found his first girlfriend, and he's just kind of. <laughs> Like doesn't know what to do. <laughs> he sounds so much. You never Henry. had a girlfriend before, and then you have one when you're like thirty something. You just, <laughs> I don't know. They get, they take over. He's, he's saying like Henry Cejudo's a virgin, so maybe that's why Henry Cejudo's like hyped up on him because uh, he was calling him a virgin. He and him he had his first girlfriend at thirty years old. Bro, but wasn't Henry Cejudo was a nasty? Isn't he like nasty. he's like a world class yeah, 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 like yeah. fucking nasty nasty does wrestler? Triple, yeah, yeah, wrestler, MMA fighter. He's a double champ. There's only a, I think there's only three people that have ever done it. Why do they call him Triple C though? I don't know. I'm not really thought, that in tune with his career. Henry Cejudo is a triple champ. Triple? Oh, that, that's why so. they call him Triple C then. That's what I was thinking. Three weight classes? Yeah. In, in, in Wait, UFC on, on, or? I'm, I yeah, might midget be wrong. class, Let retard class, and idiot class. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, I hey, dude, I don't blame you because this kid, like... Watch his like um just watch a compilation just type in Henry Cejudo cringe, and yeah. you're gonna see a whole like hour compilation of him just making you want to kill yourself. It's bro, it gets bad. Okay, okay, get, this is what they call him Triple C because he won an Olympic gold medal, the UFC yeah. flyweight title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Afro mentioned, I said that wrong. Uh, and another title. Yeah. Not in the UFC, I don't think. Yeah, he but was three. he was a world class wrestler too. He has a bunch of fucking medals and shit for wrestling and shit. So. But yeah, because that's what I always think of when I think of Emma. He was a nasty wrestler. The only person to ever be a champion in three different weight classes it was Randy Couture. Damn, mm-hmm. that was back in the day, huh? 1997. Yeah, back when Holy they would fuck. find crackheads off the fucking street for him to fight. True. But in the UFC in the early days when like you. There's Probably certain names true. that I've heard on like Rogan and shit that I don't know their names off the top of my head, but they're just like certain fighters or if you look them up, you're just like, yeah, they're obviously on all of the steroids that you could find. Bro, like, back in the day. Like, and they would just, they didn't even like drug tests like that. Yeah. They would just be juiced to the gills mm-hmm. just in there. Just Beyond beating anything. Beating the shit out of each Bro, other. Bro, did you see those? There was this one fight in Pride. It was like this Fucking six hundred pound behemoth versus this, like a hundred and fifty pound dude. Yeah, you see that? Back when they didn't have like weight classes. Yeah, even the, the UFC didn't even have weight classes. Yeah, in there the was beginning. like they would do like judo versus was, like uh, karate and like all this like uh, different big hoist. guy. Yeah, it's like Hoist Gracie. That's why they and would... some other against some huge ass dude and he's Gracie's literally in there just in a gi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in a jujitsu gi in the yeah. UFC. Uh huh. And it's just like what the fuck yeah, is going on? It makes no sense. And the old fighting days were just like. Awesome. Do you have a drug addiction and want to mm-hmm. could money. fight a little bit? You get like Make five grand. Yeah, just come in here and uh, just beat the shit, kick this other dude in the head while he's on the ground and, and make a hundred dollars. Yeah. What'd you say, Reese? It's a very gladiator like. Oh, th- yeah. It this, is. It's, it's modern day. Even still today, it's cra- it's crazy. Yeah. It's literally like the mod. It's the closest thing to gladiators, mm-hmm. like modern day, like box. Any, I guess, any fighting like kickboxing. Yeah, combat sport. MMA. Yeah. Like, I I seen some it, one of the fighters talking about. It, it's like you beat me in basketball. Like congratulations. Like fuck that. I I, I just beat the fuck out of you for five rounds. It's yeah, like, it's like wait, more it's like a different thing. It's more like your heart. Like mm-hmm. it's just like but but yeah. It is the same where it's like some people are just better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you could have all the heart and just get, like, the one dude with green hair that fought mm-hmm. Sean O'Malley. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, he, he stood there in front of him the whole time, but it's just like, Jesus. Can't do it. There's there's yeah. there's levels to the fight game. Mm-hmm. And we're, us three Jeez. are at the top. Yep. So don't fuck with our crew at fucking El Prez. We'll fuck you up. <laughs> El Prez. El Prez, give us another free shot. Every time I go there, I want to shoot myself in the eye. Okay. 
Yeah. Oh, so basically, we moved from the Bay Area to San Diego. So, um, I mean, I have a little bit of hard feelings towards the Bay Area because I never really liked it, but I kind of did, but I kind of didn't. So, because that's where I met all my friends, but at the other time, I didn't really like the location. So, basically, smash or pass Bay Area cities. You ready? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> smash or pass Berkeley. Mm, pass. Smash. I got a smash. I got a pass. Why is it a smash for you? I mean, a pass. Because uh, I don't know. It's there's just like hella fucking homeless and a lot of weed. A lot of good weed. That's where I went uh, yeah, to hit I guess my first like cool spots to eat. Like it's a cool looking town, but like it's just like I don't know. But and I also <laughs> went there one time a long time ago, and we went. Me and my family went. And we got pizza. Mm-hmm. At this little like oh sh- so fancy fun. schmancy pizza Great shop, memory. and there was they had there was corn on the pizza, Ugh. but it was <clears throat> no 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 no, but it was good. Okay, whatever. It was I don't even remember what else was on it. I just remember there was corn, but it was like some it was a Ugh. you know it's like hippie shit you know. Yeah. So I it's guess. like different type of shit, but like it is good. It was good, and I was like, damn, how'd they make that work? Berkeley for me is a hardcore smash because <laughs> I remember when I first turned eighteen, the day I fucking turned eighteen. I went and called the place. And I said, I have anxiety. And they said, okay, here's a weed card. And they said, oh, you turned 18 today? And I said, yeah, of course. So then me and Mander went and uh, copped a couple of edibles and I went into space. So they look out for you there. Yeah, they do. They really, any weed needs you need out there in Berkeley. <laughs> they want to make sure that you get high out there. Oh, yeah. They'll make you high out there even if you don't want to be. Trust me. Smash or pass, San Francisco. It's fucking Pass. 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 Why is there homeless dudes fucking ravaging CVSs over there in San Francisco for no fucking reason? And people are just watching. Like, it's just like a normal thing. Bro, you thing. go you go to San Francisco for a good time, and what happens is you park, you your car gets bipped. Mm-hmm. You get harassed by 14 homeless people. You smell homeless uh, shit. Yeah, literally. yeah, literally. And piss. There's an app called Poop Tracker. And you just, <laughs> There's an app? post, like... Where the poop is Where in the, the city. Poop's at. And like, you'll, you'll see, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's Pokemon Go for poop. Exactly. Like, yeah. It's, so it's the main hub you for gotta, homeless feces. You got to catch them all. And my stepbrother's out there punching pregnant ladies to this day in San Francisco. So it's just. It's a playground for homeless. It's a playground. Mm-hmm. And Jason, if you're out there, I'll help you out. I'll send you 20 bucks. Door is still. No, this door. Oh. Some nope. some doors are still open. You just got to find them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This door might be... The last time I, I uh, the a door was open, he was bringing over homeless. So let's let's Yeesh. not open this door to him. Yeah. What other cities you have? But my my dad's moving to Arizona, so go hit him up. Oh, oh I, wow. shouldn't have tell, I shouldn't have told Jason that. He might... It's hot there. there. Oh, yeah. It's, my, I don't know how my dad... My dad's going to fucking have a heat stroke out there. I pray for you, Father. Shout out AQ21. Yeah. 2021. Aiden a- Quinn. Oh, oh, AQ. He's an AZ boy now because he went to college out there. He went to college out there, broke the broke the rushing record at Arizona Christian. And Aiden, I never really talked to, but he does have sexy tattoos, so I'll let him slide in my mind. Um, smash or pass? Sacramento. Pass, bro. Major uh. pass. Fuck I'll Sacramento. Know. I'll pass. Uh, I'll pass. But that one, it has some nostalgia for me though because oh, there is one cool part about it. Because first of all, for me too. One of my first memories. Oh, this is actually crazy. One of my first memories of like going places for like little vacations and and shit. My mom took me and my brother to Sacramento to go to Old Town, Old Town Sac. Yeah, yeah. You know, that they place have that. Is cool, yeah. Which I, that's I dope. That, yeah. And we went to a River Cats game when I was little. But we went to the River Cats game, and then we left the game, and there was like a parking attendant guy, and there's like two ways you could go out of the, out of the stadium, mm-hmm. and he was like, he was like, like just like being like, oh yeah, you guys go this way, you guys go this way, and we, uh, so we started walking the way he told us to go, and literally like 20 minutes later, we were just in the hood. Oh. Me, my mom, me oh. at like six years old. My mom and my brother as like a teenager no. were just walking on the sidewalk through the hood and there was like literally just people in the front yard and shit, like little like crackheads and shit. And we were like, for hell long, we were like, I don't know when should we turn around or and then it was like dark, like it was nighttime. No. And so we were finally like, all right, let's turn around. We walked back and the guy was still there like 20 minutes later and we were like, he was like, he was like, oh, what happened? Like, 
uh you guys don't have a car like you guys are walking and we were like yeah and he was like oh no don't go that way and we were like bro what we were just 20 minutes into the fucking walk so it's still smash for you after this no i said pass just because oh okay but i, I kind of took a weird route but because it is nostalgic because i remember that shit and yeah yeah i just played hella baseball there but there ain't shit to do there it's hot as shit any, it's in the middle of fucking butt fuck yeah any memory i really have even positive or negative is it shapes you so yeah i could see that <laughs> brother that's very that that's very deep. sweet and i kind of want to hug you but i won't right now yeah that's a <laughs> it was a story i forgot and about you that. said past reese funny. was there any particular reason no yeah yeah everything it sucks there but it's just bum fuck the one cool thing about it is that arnold schwarzenegger once Roam the streets there, and I gave I gave him a freaking fist bump. At no, the you did not. At the state capitol, yes, fifth grade oh field my trip. God. Yes. So I've been your friend for this long, and you've never s- uh, mentioned bro, I'm that. I'm pretty sure I've said this. You fist bumped the Terminator. Yes, bro. That's bullshit. I swear to God, you can ask, ask anyone in that damn fifth grade class. Let's go. How is my friend fist bumping? That makes him so much cooler to me. Thank you. Dude, I would have liked you so much more if you already said that. Okay. Why is all your guys' voice mics down and mine's not? Because uh, you need know. it, I think. No, oh, that's rubbish. <laughs> Fuck y'all. I'm why pulling don't, mine off. Why it. don't you like Sacramento? Actually, Ooh, I shouldn't it's be all a dented and shit. Why don't I like Sacramento? Yeah, my mic's dented up because I fucking <laughs> put it through hell. That's why. Uh, Why don't I like Sacramento? I do kind of like Sacramento because when me and my sister and Austin... Mm. Their forbidden name. I still love you, Austin. Austin, if you're out there, please. I will be your friend. <clears throat> but we went out there and it was a good memory. So I do have a good memory in Sacramento. But besides that, hey, Smasher Pass, Oakland. Mm. I have to smash it I just off to, of principle yeah. because Ace, I'm just. Warriors. But that's but that's why I feel like it's I'm not a real Oak, I'm not really like Oakland like that because mm. I've only I only go there to really go to A's games and shit. But it still has a place in my heart just because of that. Because I like to. <clears throat> because you would go to the A's game. Yeah, it's, it yeah. should be a smash for you. I mean. And I went to a couple of Warriors games. Yeah. I played on the I played on the court, uh, on Immaculate Heart, the CYO team. Mm-hmm. We got to play on the Warriors court before the game. Like there's people like slowly filing into their seats. Wow. And we got wow. to play. Why didn't you tell me this? I would have liked you so much more. <laughs> yeah, I would have liked you more if you told yeah. me that. And I, I remember when I was little, I wanted, I saved my the shoes for hella long that I wore, mm-hmm. yeah. just because I felt like I was like I thought they were like special. I no, was those like, are you. Should I was still like have I played them. on the court. Yeah, I kind of had the same thing. I never washed my hand that I fist bumped Arnold with. You, you, you just day. jerk it off mm-hmm. with it. You just jerk off with it. Yeah, I just use my <laughs> knuckles. Oh jeez. Whoa. Just rub down on it, like a washing board. Exactly. I don't blame you. Grater. That man's the size of fucking. Back in his heyday, he's the size of a goddamn boulder. I'd jerk off to him today. I don't know. Dude, he's the Terminator. He's a good guy. Have you seen Terminator 2? No, I didn't. I mean, I probably have, but... It's like, the one with the little kid, I think, and then the the bad guy who could turn into metal. That's you seen crazy. that one where he turns no, into... I need to see he's those. in the jail cell, and he, tur- and he walks right through the bars. He goes... Because he's like a mutant, too. That's wild. But it's hella dope, and it was a CGI feat at, the, at you, that point in time. The famous dude I dapped up was Sage the Gemini in San Francisco. Hey. Forgot to mention that. For San Francisco, and she gonna take it like, like a rat now, <laughs> like 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 a rat now. <laughs> You're hot. Well, that's all I really had. That's the Smasher Pass segment of Barry cities <laughs> What do you do? He just fucking deep throated the damn mic like a goddamn daddy's boy. Damn. Another daddy's boy. That's freaky. You're a what? I'm a daddy's boy. Ew. <laughs> Jeez, <clears throat> man. This uh, it says I could have been one of Epstein's victims. What? <laughs> you mean you should have been? Oh my God, chill. You and wish then, you uh, could have been. So it goes I'm like, just kidding. she was watching the documentary that came out, and then like, just like started thinking, and she lived in South Florida. Uh huh. Right? Yeah, I remember that from the doc. Yep. And then like her parents were super controlling, never let her like do anything, like couldn't ever like go out and hang out with friends outside mm-hmm. of school or nothing like that. So then she's in middle school now, and then her two friends that she, like, got close with and, you know, really wanted to hang out with them but never could because her parents, they asked her if they, she wanted to skip school. Ooh, and, like, yeah. all, that's all they said is, like, do you want to skip school and, like, hang out? Yeah. So Ooh, not in Florida. The, one, of the, one of the girls was, like, um, 
like yeah we're, we're gonna we'll figure it out and like they had this plan and they curated it for about a week and so they finally did it Damn, they planned that shit out yeah they finally did it and then so Christ. the three of them like started walking to a gas station and there was another group of like young girls these girls are like 12 14 years old uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> and then so they meet up and what is and then the one one of her friends is like, "Y'all, are y'all ready to make some money like that?" Oh my god! And then seconds later, like two black Lincoln town cars pull up, bro, and then like stop right in front of them. Dude. One of the girls is like counting them off into the car, like, "Go ahead, go ahead, you go, you go, bro. you go." And then uh, that car pulls away, and then now it's just the last car. And her friend was like, "What's go-? like?" The girl was like, "What's going on? Like, you didn't even tell me yeah. anything was happening, like." <laughs> Yeah, I'm so like, confused. Like, I thought we were gonna go get ice cream. Right, and then so yeah, she was, she was just like asking how the questions, and then the girl was like, like chill, like it'll be a good time, blah blah blah. Like we're gonna like, go jerk off an old dude. What's and the then matter? She, and then she was like, out, out of all the girls I bring, you're the one that's giving me a problem. I thought you'd get want to get out and finally have some fun, and with your body, you would make a killing. Ugh. Wait, her friend said that? To her, 14-year-old girl. She's like, I just want to go get some hot Cheetos at the For fucking real. gas station. Right, you're a kid. You but, don't need to be doing all that. And then, so this girl was just like, still hella thinking like, oh, like, my parents are hella strict and like, I'm skipping school right now. Like, uh-huh. I'm not going to do this. Good girl. Yeah, so she... So she ended up not going. Good. But so she's th- pretty sure that that's... Yeah. I mean, Epstein. that's in Florida. That, and it was that same area. Time area yeah. Same time area. And that all that like shit where escalades are pulling up and shit. And in the oh, dock, wow. like in the dock, it was, it was like it was south. It was Florida, like it was that yeah. area too, yeah, yeah, where yeah. like Epstein had his like crib and shit. It was so in two thousand four in West Palm Beach. This yeah, girl. like that's where they would be like recruiting girls and shit. And that's how they like, said they would start it. They would get one girl who was like kind of like not as good not as well off and shit and then they would slowly just tell the girl like yeah if you have friends that want to make money too like yeah and of course like the right you'll just get the right girls at some point who don't have money don't have yeah. guidance type of shit despite that's all so creepy but to have like a whole operation like mm, that. yeah that's foul and then like the one one girl one of her friends the one of the two girls that she was like hanging out with yeah uh, she like fell into like a deep depression and like st- just like w- she wouldn't show up to school someday and yeah. then like she just stopped showing up and then she fucking like committed suicide bro that shit is so creepy that like and then that one the other girl was like the recruiter the one that was like yeah. him off into the car the, and th- shit. the thing is the whole f- there's fun and jokes we make fun and jokes all the time where it's always silly goose time but that shit hey epstein I'll dig you up from the grave. Hey, where's that list, bitch? Man, what you do that's with that damn thing. list, buddy? It's, bro, it's all fun and games. It's all like, you know, uh, behind closed doors and shit. But it's like, Epstein, where's my invite to the island? Chill, though. <laughs> Chill. What the hell? Not for that. What did you want to do there, jet ski? I thought it was like a tropical island. Yeah. Like jet ski fun? Chill. Yeah, and like there was like <laughs> it was a private island. There's all types of shit to do. Chill. No, there was a bunch of there was a bunch of child rape there. That's Wait, what really? was there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so there was there was old guys there that were. You know your homeboy Andrew Tate and Donald Trump. They were both there double teaming. It's fucked up, man. It's honestly is. It's not a joke. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't know that. I would not have been supporting Epstein through this if I knew that. Mm. Jesus that. Christ! You didn't I know didn't any know, of this. I didn't know this story. But uh, what the hell's wrong? G- I thought he was like a. I thought he was like a vice president or something. You thought he was an icon. icon All I hear is Epstein this, Epstein that. I thought he was like a vice president. Mm. Thought he was a good guy. Yeah, literally sounded like he knew all of it dude, because I've you're just, spitting off facts about yeah, the damn documentary. Dude, I've just been like going along, just thinking that he was like wrongfully murdered. He was wrongfully. Oh, you didn't know anything. You just thought he was like friends with Trump. Yeah, I was like, why the hell they kill this guy? He was a public figure. Yeah, he's a good guy. Oh. But I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. It's I'm okay. Just, I'm just rebuttaling here. I got a pee soon. Chris D'Elia told me to say that honestly. I got to pee soon. Is Epstein around? Ooh, you better hope he's not. If Maybe if it, 10 years ago, I would have been in the trouble running for yeah, it. Yeah, you would have been. <laughs> we're too old. We're too past our heyday for hey. him. Free flight to an island. I don't mind. 
Hey, everybody, go ahead and um, check out our links in the description for um, canadips.com. We have a link there for, for you to get 15% off. Also, we have, uh, there's the link right there, and there's the code right under it to use. It helps us out greatly. Also, um, we do do helloned.com. Go ahead and pop up the uh, link, and here is the code to use. So go ahead and go to that link and go to this code so we could uh, get some help and support from you guys if you guys do like us. And if you guys do just like CBD and THC, that is perfect for you guys anyway. So go ahead and go get your discount. It has been episode 36. We will never stop. I don't care if we get 100 views for the rest of our life. We will never stop. I am. This is what I want to do. This is what we all want to do. We're very determined. We love you all. And we'll see you next time.